Hi, I wanted to share something with you. Check this out. You'll never guess what it is. It is not something that you drink or eat. In fact, it is iron water. And I made this right here in my home studio and it was so easy. Hi, I'm Margaret Bird and welcome to Color Quest. Today, we are going to learn how to make iron water. And why would I want to make iron water? Well, it is an amazing way to shift color. We looked at how to shift color with the pH of water, but you can also do some pretty incredible color shifts with iron water, which really is nothing more than rusty water. But I'll show you in today's video how to make it at home. You can keep it in the garage stored. Make sure that you leave it labeled that it's iron water so nobody mistakes it for, I don't know, Gatorade or something. And you will be so happy that you've done it. We will look to see how we can make certain colors that we've already looked at shift. And what happens with iron water is often described as saddening of the color. Basically, it tones the color down and you can actually darken lots of the colors that you use in order to get deeper, darker shades. It's also a fantastic way for you to move into the dark grays and black spectrum by using natural dyes and shifting or modifying the color with iron water. And if you missed the last few videos on how to shift dye by altering the pH of the water, check out these videos here where we change red cabbage colors using simple shifts of the pH in the water. Check out those videos and you will begin to have so many more tools at your disposal to widen the rainbow of colors that you can get from using natural materials. So let's look at the tutorial so you can see just how easy it is for you to have your own iron water ready at your beck and call if you ever want to shift the color of your dye material.
So pretty incredible what iron will do to different dye matters. You may have recognized the color spectrum from the recipes that we've looked at over the course of cooking color. The playlist you'll find on my channel here where we looked at six different natural materials to create a rainbow. I took those cotton samples of each one of those colors and I chose to shift those. Now, a few things I wanna tell you about iron. Obviously, it's very powerful as you saw in the video, but there are other few things to consider when you're using iron. Number one is a little goes a long way. You saw that on the yellow onion skin sample, there was a massive shift of color. Also, the amount of time that you put it into the iron water can make a big difference. You probably also noticed that the type of dye matter also makes a difference. Some are highly reactive to iron and others not as much. So you might have noticed that with the spinach and the citrus peels, the green and the yellow, I didn't have much of a change at all. I probably would have had to either increase my iron or left them in for a much longer period of time to get even a slightly darker shade. You also don't know what color you're gonna get until you try. So the orange of the yellow onion skin actually turned into like this really beautiful olive green color. So it's fantastic to try different dye matter with the iron, play around with the volume of iron that you use or the ratio of iron to water. You can also put the iron water directly into your dye bath, but that will shift the color of your dye bath. And then you will have a whole dye pot of one iron shifted color. And one final point that I wanted to share with you is that you have to be careful with iron when you're using it with protein fibers. And protein fibers include silk and wool. Silk and wool are more sensitive in terms of the fiber itself to iron, and it can slowly break down the character of the textile itself. So those are all things that you need to consider. Next time on Color Quest, we are going to be going out into the world and doing some foraging. It is autumn here where I live, and we're going to go searching for Japanese maple leaves. So I hope you'll join me as I go outside of my kitchen into nature to do some foraging for natural color. So happy that you're here. Thank you for joining, and I'm excited to share this journey of natural color with you. Look forward to seeing you next time here on Color Quest. Oh, leaking. <laughs> All right, it's leaking. Oh my gosh.